Here is the second pair in the semifinals. Funny car, Mike Neff, John Force Racing. And he faces Jack Beckman, Schumacher Racing. Another great matchup. So Beckman looking to go to back to back final rounds coming off his win at Z-Max. Mike Neff, it'll be his first final round here at Royal Purple Raceway as a driver if he can do it. Now Jack's gonna have his work cut out. Mike Neff's got a, a very good race car coming into this semifinal matchup. Your number four qualifier went a 413 or 412, but you know, fast Jack, he's been consistent, but this this man right here, Mike Neff, has just really got a handle on this race car right now. And the Aaron's crew certainly have to be encouraged by seeing Jeff Arendt go down that right lane, but Mike, I think everyone here agrees here, a 430 is probably not going to cut it up against Mike Neff, so because of that, Ron Tobler is going to have to lean on this car a little bit harder in that tricky area from 60 feet to 300. They've been pretty safe, but they are definitely leaning on it harder now. Yeah, I think that's what they have to do. I mean, he's still going to race the lane, but they're going to try to get whatever they think that lane's going to give them. They're going to try to run it right on that edge. Remember, though, how um, unpredictable the track has been most of this day. Yeah, Mike Neff, 413, 308, and he goes to the final. I'll tell you, you know, give Jack Beckman, Ron Tobler, and that crew some credit. They made a nice run. Right-hand lane. Jack did his job having the advantage off the starting line uh, by uh, about three hundredths of a second, a little over three hundredths of a second. And actually, but boy, Mike Neff, that castle car, just that thing is just flying. Well, Mike Neff is on his way into his second final round of the season. He won Gainesville over Cruz Pedregon. He will have lane choice when he goes up against Jeff Arendt, looking to race in his seventh career final round.